in last few decades and just I was reading a report of course on smart city mission and it has been said that in last two three decades the urban population growth is increased in India. It means the urban urbanization, the phenomenon of urbanization is increasing in the era of uh, globalization or in neo liberal economy it is essentially emphasizing on urbanization or growth of urban areas. This is the one point on which I want to emphasize. If we uh, see this and the other uh, conceptual term used in this theme is social movements. The term uh, social movement, uh, first I would like to clarify certain things about it. That it, uh, it covers a variety of uh, collective actions which are aimed at social organization, sorry, social reorganization. And we have to see four things as uh, Dr. Sau also pointed out, aim of the social movement. There may be two aims, one is uh, a broader aim, uh, that is to overthrow a government, like that, a very big goal of the movement, or it may be a narrow end, narrow goal, and it may be like installation of the traffic calming uh, measures in an urban district, maybe small urban problem. For that also, there may be some social movement. Then forms of organization may be very, or may be diverse for a social movement. It may be highly organized, as, as we have seen the traditional social movement, but highly organized, having a well-developed bureaucracy and leadership. And that's why when we study social movement, we talk of what is the organization structure and uh, what kind of leadership uh, was there which uh, launched that movement or lead that movement. But there will be some other uh, type of uh, organization, form of organization, it may be fluid or informal also, and which we are seeing today. A like movement against tobacco, like save earth, like Vindya Bachao, this type of movements, they may not have very bureaucratic structure or maybe very highly organized structure. And uh, we see that there are uh, distinctive forms of social movements which have emerged in this neo liberal era or you can say in the era of globalization which are very different from the earlier ones and uh, the starting point uh, which is quoted is 1960s uh, radical student movement and these movements are known as new social movements so again we have two type of movements the traditional type of social movements which we have studied within our time, but now there are new social movements uh, which are generally not popular and they may be distinguished from interest group and political movements. The political parties aim at social transformation through political processes. In political movement, which have been traditionally very popular, the political parties, they uh, apply certain political processes for that, they use their party structure, their leadership for that, uh, but these new social movements are very different from the interest group, they are not interest group, they are also not political movements, they are mostly apolitical in nature. Then there are four important features of these new social movements which I would like to emphasize before I come how the new social movements are emerging in the new liberal urban society. The aims of these new social movements are alteration of social and cultural values.